Welcome back to Go Math. This is grade four, lesson three, multiply two digit numbers, lesson 3.6. On today, we're going to choose a multiplication method. All right, let's get right into lesson 3.6. Choose a multiplication method. How can you find and record products of two digit numbers? Well, we need to unlock the problem. Did you know using math can help prevent you from getting a sunburn? The time it takes to burn without sunscreen multiplied by the SPF or sun protection factor is the time you can stay in the sun safely with sunscreen. If today's UV index is 8, Aaron will burn 15 minutes in 15 minutes without sunscreen. If Aaron puts on lotion with an SPF of 25, how long will she be protected? Well, Underline the sentence that tells you how to find the answer. Well, the sentence, boys and girls, actually an entire paragraph, so I'm going to highlight it instead of underline it, all right? That tells you how to find the answer. Now, next it says, circle the number you need um, to use. Well, I need to know 15 minutes. It takes 15 minutes without sunscreen before you burn. And the 25 is the SPF. And it asks, um, what operation will you use? Well, we're going to use multiplication. All right, first, um, we're going to use partial products to find 15 times 25 or 25 times 15. It doesn't matter um, which factors are there. We're going to get the same product. All right, so First, start with the 10 times two tens. So, 110 times two tens is 20 tens, that's 200. Now, we're going to go to the 10 again and multiply it by five ones. A 10 times five ones is 50. Now, we're coming to the next column and we're going to go five ones times two tens is 10 tens and that's 100. Five ones times five ones is 25. The answer is 375. Now we can draw a picture. Remember um, how to draw the picture? We draw the rectangle. We break 25 down into 20 and 5 and 15 down to 10 and 5. 10 times 20 is 200. 10 times 5 is 50. 5 times 20 is 100, and 5 times 5 is 25. Now let's look at another way. All right, um, we're going to use regrouping to find 15 times 25 or 25 times 15. We're going to do the estimate as 20 times 20 is 400. Our step one, it says think of 15 as 110 and 5 ones. Multiply 25 times 5 ones or 5. So we're going to go 5 times 5 is 25. Carry that to 5 times 2 is 10. Add 2 is 12. Okay, so watch what I did. I went. 5 times 5 here first, then I went 5 times 2. All right, now I had to, I'm going into the tens column now to multiply, so I had to put that place value of 0 in there. So I went 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 1 is 2, 250. Now, I don't do anything with that, too, because remember, that was a, from carrying over there, okay? So now we have 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2. Now we add it together, and we get 375, all right? So now let's try this. Multiply 57 times 43. Well, I can go 60 times 40 is um, 2,400 as my estimate, all right? So I can use the partial product, 43 times 57. All right, first, I'm going to go five, 50 times 40 is 2,000. Now I'm going to go 50 times 3 
is 150. I'm going to go 7 times 4, 40 is 280, and 7 times 3 is 21. Add it together, I get 2,451. Now let's regroup. 7 times 3 is 21, carry the 2. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 2 is 30, 301. 5 times, oh, well, let me stop. I had to put that 0 there as my placeholder. 5 times 3 is 15, carry the 1. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 1 is 21. Add it together, I get 2,451. All right, how do you know your answer is reasonable? Well, 2,451 is very close to the estimate of 2,400, so it is reasonable. It says, look at the partial products and regrouping method above. How are the partial products of 2,150 related to 2,150? Well, the sum of 2,150 is equal to 2,150 in the regrouping method. How are the partial products 280 and 21 related to 301? The sum of 280 and 21 is equal to 301 in the regrouping method. Okay, now I want you to do page 179 and 180 on your own, um, and then come back and we will check it. Boys and girls, here are the answers to questions um, from pages 179 and 180. If you are in my class and you missed um, from 1 to 13, I want you to redo them, and if you still are getting the answers wrong, you need to contact me so that I can give you individual help, okay? Um, let's look at number 16. It says the town conservation management um, brought 16 maple trees, bought 16 maple trees for $26 she paid. Um, with five $100 bills, how much change will she receive? Explain. Well, she's going to receive $84. Uh, um, I multiplied to find the cost of the tree, 16 times 25, which, four, which is 416. Then I subtracted 416 from 500 to see if the, uh, to see if the manager would get $84 in change, and she did. All right, 17, each of 25 students in group A read for 45 minutes. Each of 21 students in group B read for 48 minutes. Which group read more minutes? Explain, well, group A, because group A read a total of 25 times 45, which equals 1,125 minutes, and group B read 21 times 48, which equals 1,008 minutes. Let's look at number 18, unlock the problem. Martin collected stamps. He counted 48 pages in his collection, collector's album. The first 20 pages of each, of each have 35 stamps in five rows. The rest of the pages have each have 54 stamps. How many stamps does Martin have in his album? Um, what do you need to know? Well, you need to know the total number of stamps Martin has in his album. And how will you use multiplication to find the number of groups? Well, I'll multiply the number of pages by the number of stamps on the page. Tell why you might use addition and subtraction to help solve this problem. Well, I need subtraction to find how many pages there are after the first 20, and I need to add to combine the groups of stamps. All right, um, so how to solve this? 35 times 20. Um, and then 54 times 28, 48 minus 20 is 28. I add them together, and there you go. All right. It says, complete the sentence. Martin had a total, total of 700, 700 stamps on the first 20 pages, right here. There are 28 more pages after he the first 20 pages. All right. 
There are 28 more pages after the first 20 pages. There are 1,512 stamps on the rest of the pages, right here. And there are 2,112 stamps in the album, right there. All right. And 19, we needed to mark that one, that one, and that one. If you um, are in my class and you had any problem with this, contact me, boys and girls. If you're doing this as a homeschool um, or extra in your class, um, con uh, talk to an adult. Um, have them help you with any of these problems that you may have missed. Here's your practice and homework for lesson 3.6 on your own. Um, my class, make sure you complete it. Take a snapshot of it. Send it to me. I'll grade it and get back to you. With get back to you to let you know how you did on it. Um, remember, my classes does go in the grade book. And that is the end of lesson 3.6. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Awesome Possum Classroom 451. If you would like these worksheets, email me at awesomepossumclassroom at gmail.com and I will send you the link.